Hello, I am Bailey Van Tassel, and today I'm so excited to show you guys how I use a very special tool. It is my ravioli plate. Um, there are a lot of ways to make ravioli, and this is one of my favorites because I feel like you can find these tools at vintage marts and thrift stores. Mine is from Garrett Wade, tried and true. I love them, and this cooking tool is exceptional. So I'm gonna show you how I make my ravioli. First things first, we're gonna make the pasta. So I use a very basic pasta recipe. It's just one cup all-purpose flour and one cup pasta flour or double zero flour, or you can use all all-purpose flour, whatever you want, but I like to do half and half. So I've got some all-purpose here. This is actually kamut flour, which I love. I use it to make our bread as well. I'm just gonna do a cup here like this. This guy and the double zero flour is really just more fine and it makes your pasta a little bit more stretchy and a little bit more delicate when you eat it which I really like okay so we've got our flour and I'm just gonna make a little well in the center like this with my fingers and then I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt and just kind of I'm just gonna dash it in like that. Then we're gonna add our eggs, and I use four eggs. So I'll do three full eggs and one egg yolk. That is my, that's what works for my pasta. Just crack those in the center of the well. There you go. To crush these up and put them in your garden soil they are excellent for killing slugs just a tip okay so we are going to just use a fork and i'm just going to sort of scramble the eggs i know the italians have this beautiful way of folding the yolks into the flour but i really just need to get it well combined so try to scoop the edge flowers over the edge into your eggs i guess i'm not scrambling i'm more like folding and then at the very end, to add some extra moisture, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, so like I said, about a tablespoon of olive oil, and it's just gonna really help keep everything very cohesive. And add a little bit of that yummy flavor. your pasta starts to get a little sticky you're gonna want to get in there with your hands get your hands dirty a little bit and really start to form a dough this is the fun part I always feel like an old Italian grandmother you know just making my pasta from scratch making memories okay looks good so I'm gonna put this in a little bit of plastic wrap and let it sit for 30 minutes and then we're gonna work it through our pasta maker and make those ravioli. Okay, we are back and we've got this chilled pasta. It's been sitting for about 30 minutes and so we're gonna get this rolled out. Make our sheets for the ravioli. I've floured my surface like you do and this guy's actually a little bit, I maybe went a little crazy with the olive oil, so we'll see how it goes. If we need to add flour, we can. But it's really good when you're using a pasta machine like this that your pasta stays fairly dry. It's good to have it be fairly dry, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna cut this guy into fourths so we have manageable size pasta sheets to work with. And this machine I absolutely love. However, you could hand roll these if you wanna get a nice workout in. So I'm just gonna shape this into something that will fit through our pasta maker and set my little machine to zero. And we're gonna run this through about six times. Just get some nice, even sheets. And you just adjust this guy as you go. Really quick and easy. I do this with my kids all the time. They love to turn the crank and shift this little guy and just be a part of it. 
and also eat the raw dough, which makes me crazy. Okay, these are gorgeous. This whole sheet is gonna make enough for the entire set of raviolis that we have. I'm just gonna kinda see where the halfway point is and cut it there. So what we're gonna do on the instructions when you look up using a ravioli plate, they're typically just gonna tell you to dust this guy with flour, but I really don't want my ravioli to stick, so I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of olive oil and cheat the system a little bit. So we're just gonna, ooh, just a little spray. All right, so we're gonna do that guy, and then we are going to set our first layer over on here. And you can kind of stretch your pasta a little bit too. You wanna to make sure it gets over the edges of your ravioli plate and the filling is going to kind of sink your dough in a little bit as well. All right. Okay, let's talk about the filling. So I've got three cheese in here. I'll give you the recipe later, but it's basically ricotta, mozzarella, Parmesan, and then I have some chard and oregano from the garden. As often as I can slip in these greens, I do it because they add a really delicious flavor. Um, and also just no one ever notices and then they can't protest at dinner time. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a very small amount here to set in the well of our ravioli. Really want these guys stretched over. You'll see why. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And everything expands when you cook ravioli, so just keep that in mind. You want these sealed very tightly, but the pasta and the filling will expand a little bit as you cook it in your hot water. So delicious. There are so many different versions of ravioli that you can make so many different types of fillings, so many different shapes. I actually have a square shape mold I'll show you guys that I love as well. But this specific, these specific ravioli makers from Garrett Wade are so useful. They're easy to clean. And they're kind of just a little bit of a statement piece. It's so fun to make pasta with company and with family because it's, it's kind of an event, you know? And then obviously rewarding to eat. Okay, put these guys in here, and then I cannot wait to show you how these come out. Okay, perfect. So now we are going to lay our second pasta sheet on top of the ravioli, and this is where the magic and the ease of these ravioli trays comes into place. So I'm just gonna press down with my hands, and then I'm gonna use this handy rolling pin comes with your sheet and we are just going to squish them down. So this crimps shut your ravioli and really seals them as well as helps actually get your ravioli out of the tray. So we have raviolis. There you go. And you can be pretty firm when you press down on this. You really do want them to stay nice and sealed so when you boil the ravioli it doesn't pop open. All right. The moment of reckoning. Oh my word, look at that. How beautiful is that? Can you even? I'm just gonna set each one aside in a little flat, loosely floured bowl. You can use all-purpose flour or semolina flour. You just you don't want it to, them to stick together or to the bowl. So I'm actually just gonna use my fingers to pull these guys out. Okay, we're gonna pop these in some water for like three minutes. Once they float to the top, they're ready. So we're just gonna pop them in and then we are gonna give them a taste. Okay, look at this, can you even handle it? I'm like just gonna pour some melted butter on top and some parm, and we're gonna give it a taste. Oh my God. That's amazing. 
Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. Try making your ravioli with these trays. It's so easy. It's so delicious when you do and it's well worth it. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with.